Still ahead, we have another round of Motivational Monday for you. Our friend Rich Bracken is going to be here with some ideas on how we can be a little bit nicer to ourselves. None of that stinking thinking, <laughs> Carly. Thank you, Carly. Well, according to the National Science Foundation, the average person has between 12,000 and 60,000 thoughts per day. Wow. How many of them do you think are negative? Mm, I'd say, well, I'd say depending on your mood, at least 20%. 80%. What? 80% are negative on average. So how do we change that behavior and start thinking more positively? Look who the cat drug in here. Hey, it's Mr. Rich Bracken. I'm not, the it's not, I'm not like superimposed. This is the real me it. and the real studio has been way too long. So uh, good to see you. Yeah, friend of the show, author, uh, swell guy. Uh, he is back with us here. So let's dive into that a little bit more. What, why, do, why do we have so many negative thoughts floating around? And I referred to it earlier as stinking thinking, which I guess could Isn't be a... Oh, I like that. that. That's could be a bumper similar. sticker t-shirt. We, yeah. we need to get Charlie Hustle on the line. <laughs> but really, you know, the, the biggest part of it is that we are hardwired for what we call negativity bias. So if you think about as your day goes along, you may have 50, 60 really good things happen. They may not be big, but just nice, kind things mm -hmm. that happen throughout your day. Mm -hmm. But if one small thing happens, our minds take a harder impact on negativity with that one instance. So somebody may ask you at the end of the day, how was your day? Oh, it was terrible. Because this one thing is hanging in your mind. You forget the compliments. You forget the good things that happen. That negative one is the one that we hang on to more than the other 50. So how do we so focus true. more on the positive things? It's really how do we rewire. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's it's important that we focus on gratitude, that we focus on thankfulness, that we focus on humor. You know, as as my favorite poet Ice Cube says, "Check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself." You know, if you if you're checking in with yourself throughout the day and making sure that once you start having those negative thoughts, that you're flipping it and turning it into a positive. Either saying, "I'm not going to think this anymore," or I'm going to think about it in a different way. If you think about a challenge, I can't do this. Well, I can't do this yet. You know, so I haven't this learned jerk it yet. cut me off, but obviously he's in a bigger hurry to get somewhere than I am, so I'm allowing him to get there. That's anytime. exactly it. That's exactly <laughs> it. And it happened to me on the way down here. There's somebody cut me off. I'm like, you know what? They may be late for work, late for a court appearance, late for the hospital. Maybe they're rushing to see a family member. So mm -hmm. if you think about it in that way as opposed to, well, that jerk targeted me to cut me off, your mindset is completely different. You're not hanging on to that negativity, which just makes us feel mm -hmm. bad. So uh, the question is, uh, what if we don't recognize it? What if we do hang on to that negativity and we just obsess over it? Fester. It sounds like a spiraling situation in the wrong direction. It is, and forgiveness is the biggest thing there. Because, I, I mean, I have had situations myself where people have wronged me, and I held on to it for way too long. Yeah. It becomes very toxic. People have those. You see somebody, you hear somebody's name, and you have this negative reaction. But if you say, hey, I forgive you, and you don't have to say it necessarily to them. Uh, I had a, a psychologist tell me one time, take a picture of them. Look at the picture and say, I forgive you for what you did to me and you take back that mental real estate, you kick them off your mental lawn because they've been taking up too much time, too much space, and too much of your energy. So by dismissing them through forgiveness, you're taking that power back. You're taking a chunk of your positivity back. Uh, that's awesome. so true, I love that. Okay, other ways to be proactively positive. Stay away from stinking thinking is what you need to do. <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite things is humor. You know, if I feel myself getting into a negative frame of mind, I have a playlist of YouTube videos that I'll go to that are really good, you know, quick laughs mm -hmm. that I can get in. Music is always a big one. You know, I, you know, y'all yeah. know I love music. Yep, yep. So music's a really good one to get your mind in a positive frame of mind. Think of songs that make you feel good, that make you feel strong. Go to those. In three minutes or less, five minutes max, you can immediately switch your mentality to a positive mentality, mm -hmm. to a more confident mentality. Well, it's great to see you back from uh, Minneapolis, so where it is so cold up there. It, Have you forgiven Mother Nature yet? <laughs> Not yet, because I think if I look at my calendar on my watch, on my, my non-existent watch, Winter still exists until about May. So I have a oh. bone to pick. I have a bone to pick with Mother Nature about this whole winter thing. You need but, to you get know, back to KC. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, it right was, back it, here on the couch. When, it, when, I was, when I saw the, the, the report, I'm like, ah. Those double-digit numbers sound really, really good yeah. because we haven't had many of those that didn't have a negative sign in front of them. Oh, my gosh. Where can people find you? Uh, they can find me at richbracken.com. All of my social handles, all my content, everything about me is on richbracken.com. Awesome. Great to see you, friend. So great to see you all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Come back soon. Still